Hello and welcome to Cadence Design Systems Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate the technique in just a few minutes. Today, we're going to look at the new Polyvoxel CAE export options in Fidelity Pointwise. Voxel blocks are blocks that are composed of hierarchical Cartesian cells, which are clustered about and sized by the enclosed size field influencers, whether that be a domain, a T-Rex front, or a source. Those root voxel cell sizes are specified for the block and recursively subdivided, and then the subdivision stops when the voxel cell sizes match the local size field. Now, what's important here is to note that the transitions between levels of the Cartesian mesh are made using tetrahedral cells and pyramids in order to maintain point-to-point -point cell face matching. However, in some cases, the number of non-voxel or hexahedral cells that fill the transition regions can be quite significant. In Fidelity Pointwise 2023.1, a new polyvoxel option is introduced for CAE grid export. This option allows you to export voxels as polyhedral cells. More specifically, Pointwise will recombine the tetrahedral cells and pyramids within the voxel transition region into polyhedra, which are basically hexahedral cells with hanging nodes. Currently, the polyvoxel export is available for the CAE solver types shown here on this slide. So during CAE export, you will have polyvoxel options frame available to you if the CAE solver selected by the user supports this type of cells. Now, for the supported CAE format, uh, let's say CGNS, you can then enable the export voxels as polyhedra option, and Pointwise will automatically perform the recombination needed to export polyhedra cells. Additionally, there's an option called Improve Face Orthogonality. When enabled, Pointwise will offset the center nodes of the uh, polyhedral faces to basically improve face orthogonality, which can be very important for cell-centered codes. Here's an example of a voxel block created around the Onera M6 wing, uh, which contains over 2.2 million cells, with almost a half a million cells inside the T-Rex layers. After enabling the polyvoxel option on export, the total cell count is reduced down to 1.4 million cells. This means that the number of cells in the isotropic portion of the block, uh, which is where we have voxel cells and the typical transition layers, is almost cut in half, which is a very significant reduction in cell count. Also, in the images shown here, you can see how the tetrahedral cells and pyramids in a standard voxel block are replaced by polyhedral cells. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.